we've got leading zeros. So you'll notice in this table that we have over here, we have these ID numbers. And let's suppose that the first one is actually 00587, like that. As soon as I hit enter though, it does remove all of those zeros. Even if I try to put them back manually, like that, you'll see that they disappear. To change the settings for this, as we do want the leading zeros, we'll go over to File and click on Options towards the bottom. Here you'll see that we have this Excel Options pop-up and we want to head to the Data tab. Within it, we want to scroll down to where it says Remove Leading Zeros and Convert to Number. That's the one that we want to untick on and click on. Okay, now if we type 00587, you'll notice that we keep those leading zeros. And if we look inside of the actual formula bar, it's because we have this apostrophe. You can type it in manually every time, but it is a lot easier if you just change the settings. Now for any other number, I can change it and it's always gonna keep that zero in front. So over here, you might have already noticed that we're getting these two error signs when we've added the zero in front. It's this strange green thing on the corner. If we click inside of it, we can convert it to a number. As soon as we do that though, we lose those leading zeros, so that's not quite what we want. Instead, you can either go manually and ignore this error. Like and follow for daily tips.